Hi students, how are you? Welcome to my physics classes. Today, we will discuss a reflection of light at spherical mirrors. Okay, to analyze, to understand spherical mirrors, we will discuss in detail. First, I will take a hollow glass PR. Imagine there is a hollow glass PR. If I cut this PR into two equal halves, suppose I cut like this, as a result, this become this part and this will be this part. Now here, if you observe, this side, this side will be known as bulged surface, bulged or convex surface. And this side can be treated as a concave surface or grooved surface. Grooved surface or concave surface. And for this side, this one is grooved or concave, this one is bulged or convex. Now, how these surfaces act like a mirror? Suppose if I take a this side, this one, a silvered convex side. As a result, what happened? All reflections will be takes place from the concave side. Now this become concave mirror. All reflections are takes place from concave side so that it will act like a concave mirror. Suppose if I take this part, if I silvered concave side like this. Now, all reflections are takes place from the convex side. As a result, this mirror act like a convex mirror. If I draw separately, concave side silver. And all reflections are takes place from the convex side. As a result, it act like a convex mirror. Simply, we can say or we can define the mirror, which side reflections takes place, that side is the name of that mirror. Here, concave side reflection takes place, concave mirror. Here, convex side reflection takes place, convex mirror. Now, we will discuss, there are some terms related to spherical mirrors. These are very important to observe how light will behave. Terms related to Spherical mirrors. Suppose I take a concave mirror. Concave mirror. The first term pole or optic center. Pole or optic center. Defined as the midpoint of the mirror is known as pole. This is the midpoint. Midpoint of the mirror is known as pole. Second term center of curvature. Center of curvature. Pole denote by letter P. Center of curvature denote by letter C. Center of curvature is a center of the hollow spherical shell of which mirror is a part. Actually, I have cut this from the hollow spherical shell. By common sense, we can draw circle. We can locate center. Center will be here. Again, center of curvature is a center of the spherical shell of which Mirror is a part, center of curvature. Next, third one, principal axis. P dot A, principal axis. It is the line joining optic center and the center of curvature. Now, it will act like a principal axis. If I join these lines, P and C. This is principal axis. P dot A. Principal axis. Next, 
we will discuss radius of curvature radius of curvature denote by letter r radius of curvature is a radius of the spherical shell of which mirror is a part by common sense we can draw the circle we can observe locate radius that is nothing but radius of the spherical shell we have cut from those shell so that the distance between pole and to the center of curvature is nothing but radius of curvature again we can define radius of curvature as radius of curvature is a radius of the spherical shell of which mirror is a part so this is r from p to c radius of the curvature of course you can take this is also radius of curvature this is also and this is also radius of curvature no problem and next term we will discuss principal focus denote by letter capital f principal focus imagine the situation parallel beam of light a parallel beam of light coming parallel to the principal axis after reflection all these rays are appear to meet sorry all these rays are rays are meet at one particular point this is a, these are the principal focus can be defined as if a parallel beam of light moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection these rays are meet at one particular point if i draw another ray incident on the mirror and reflection takes place towards the same point particular point all these rays are meet here as a result this point is known as capital f principal focus parallel beam of light moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection all rays are meet at one particular point that point is known as principal focus next term focal length denote by letter small f focal length focal length can be defined as the distance between optic center or pole and to the principal focus is known as focal length means this is principal focus this is principal focus this is pole f is the focal length distance between pole and to the focus principal focus known as focal length and next term we will discuss next term aperture aperture denote by letter d or r whatever it is no problem aperture can be defined as the diameter of the enclosed circular portion of a mirror the diameter of the enclosed circular portion of a mirror from which light incident and reflection takes place i will draw separately aperture suppose this is a concave mirror this is the diameter d by common sense we can complete circle radius r radius r this complete diameter so the diameter of the enclosed circular portion from which all reflections are takes place from which light light incident and reflections takes place concave mirror this is the d aperture for the concave mirror this is aperture this part means from this area light incident and reflection takes place again the diameter of the enclosed circular portion of a mirror from which light incident and reflections take place these are the terms very important we must know how light behaves now we will observe the same terms in case of convex mirror
तो सपोज आई ड्रॉ ए कॉन्वेक्स मिरर मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द मिरर इज नाउन एज पोल पोल एस पोल सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस बिकम सी सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस लाइन जॉइनिंग पी एंड सी प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस आई गॉट पी डॉट ये प्रिंसिपल फोकस ऑल रेज आर मूविंग पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन अपियर टू मूव फ्रॉम ए पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एक्चुअली दीज रेज आर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज नोन एज एफ प्रिंसिपल फोकस नेक्स्ट रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर द डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ऑप्टिक सेंटर अन टू द सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर दिस बिकम रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर और और रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर इज ए पार्ट ऑफ द स्पेरिकल शेल ऑफ विच मिरर इज ए पार्ट नेक्स्ट फोकल लेंथ रिमाइन सेम डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पोल अन टू द प्रिंसिपल फोकस फोकल लेंथ एंड कमिंग टू अपेक्चर अपेक्चर the diameter of the enclosed circular portion of a mirror now for the convex mirror this is aperture d this part is aperture if i draw separately convex mirror this become aperture means light rays incident on this surface and reflections are takes place so this part is diameter diameter d Known as aperture in case of a convex mirror. Now we will see how light behaves in case of convex mirror and concave mirror. How light be behaves whenever it incident on the mirrors. Imagine concave mirror. If I locate the terms. पोल सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस फोकस वी कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर पोल फोकस सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर ऑल लाई एट इक्वी डिस्टेंस मैनर इट विल हैपन इन केस ऑफ स्पेरिकल मिरर्स सपोज एनी लाइट रे incident like this light follows loss of reflection in case of spherical mirrors also for plane mirrors and spherical mirrors loss of reflections remain same it should follow loss of reflection definitely angle of incident must be equal to angle of reflection how it will be for that If I draw a line from the center of curvature onto the point of incident of incident ray, this become act like a normal. We already discussed. We know for the curved surface, we can locate center. The radius itself always act like a normal, 90 degree. If I draw a tangent by tangent drawn, we can observe this is 90 degree. now here this is the radius for this mirror this radius act like a normal if i draw a tangent 90 degrees will come it act like a normal now suppose this is angle of incident i it is the same angle reflection takes place this way angle of incident angle of reflection is very important to understand i will draw another situation suppose this is a concave mirror any light ray incident like this this way center of curvature focus pole now it will be normal from the normal onto the incident ray angle of incident i and reflection has to be takes place with the same angle this way this become angle of reflection angle of incident angle of reflection remains same now we will see some ray diagrams 
if you want to draw ray diagrams there are some set of rules standard ray rules now first we will discuss what are the ray rules standard ray rules ray rules rule 1 if any light ray moves parallel to the principal axis after reflection it move through focus rule number 1 i take a concave mirror ladder i will draw for con convex mirror no problem concave mirror pole focus center of curvature what is the rule if any light ray moves parallel to the principal axis this way parallel to the principal axis after reflection it move through focus it must be move through the focus this is rule number 1 we can observe in case of convex mirror pole focus center of curvature any light ray moving parallel to the principal axis light ray moving parallel to the principal axis after reflection it is appear to moving from the focus after reflection the light ray appear to emanating from the focus in case of convex mirror rule number 1 next we will see rule number 2 if a light ray moving through focus after reflection it move parallel to the principal axis rule number 2 first i will draw for the concave mirror concave mirror is there pole focus center of curvature what is the rule if you are moving through focus after reflection the ray should move parallel to the principal axis this is rule number 2 i will draw in case of convex mirror convex mirror pole focus center of curvature if you are moving through the focus it is looking like moving through focus but actually reflection takes place from the surface after reflection it is moving parallel to the principal axis but it is looking like moving through the focus this way moving through the focus after reflection it is moving parallel to the principal axis from the surface of the convex mirror rule 3 if i take a concave mirror pole focus center of curvature if you are moving through center of curvature if you are moving through center of curvature after reflection it retraces its own path why because here angle i is equal to angle r that is 0 degree angle of incident 0 degree angle of reflection 0 degree we already know if i draw a tangent it act like a normal through normal this is nothing but normal incident reflection also normal reflection if any light ray rule 3 if any light ray moving through center of curvature after reflection it retraces its own path rule 3 ray moving through center of curvature through c center of curvature we will see in case of convex mirror if i draw a convex mirror pole focus center of curvature 
we can observe here if a ray looking like it is moving through center of curvature if i extend it is looking like moving through center of curvature but after reflection it retraces its own path but looking like moving through center of curvature in case of convex mirror that's it rule number 3 now we will discuss rule number 4 last rule if a ray incident at pole it reflects symmetrically back if a ray incident at pole it reflects symmetrically back or symmetrically opposite direction opposite direction suppose i take a concave mirror pole focus center of curvature any light ray incident at pole incident ray you can observe angle of incidence even principal axis act like a normal why because we can draw tangent 90 degree principal axis normal angle between incident ray and normal angle of incident according to this rule the light ray reflection takes place symmetrically opposite direction with the same angle it will take reflection this way angle of reflection angle of incident and reflection laws of reflection verified so this is the rule if i observe for the convex mirror pole focus center of curvature a light ray incident at pole angle of incidence from the principal axis onto the incident ray with the same angle reflection takes place angle of incident and angle of reflection has to be same laws of reflection these are the four rules very important to draw ray diagrams